Good morning, everybody. Today is December 3rd, 2020, and Dr. Aaron Dell here, and I am Abel. Aum soham hansa haswaha. Namaste, everybody. So, um, this is a follow-up from my video yesterday. Turns out my boss did buy his pizza. It was a wonderful treat, as a matter of fact. Um, the less you eat, the more you enjoy the food when you do eat. So, that was pretty awesome. Now, uh, there's a lot of uh, practitioners and teachers out there who will give you little nuggets, little pieces of advice, and uh, when you put it all together, you get the, the full picture. You know, <laughs> Most of the time, we're too close to see what's going on, so you have to scoot back and see it from multiple perspectives. But uh, Elatom Elamine, he's one of the most uh, well-known and, uh, I guess, uh, experienced breatharian on the planet right now. He's been going without food or water for 20 years now. And people are still wondering if it's possible. So, to me, it's funny when you uh, people don't even believe it's possible when we have living proof. This guy's from Ohio. He's not like some Indian or Himalayan Tibetan um, monk. He is from Ohio, and he has figured out how to live on energy around him. Seriously, no food, no water, 20 years. So if you don't think it's real anymore, I just want you to uh, look up <laughs> some breatharians. Um, Ray Maor is one, Jasmine Heen, Akai and Camilla, um, Elatom Elamin. There's a bunch of them. So anyway, uh, this video is in regard to the books and the videos that these people make. Um, a lot of the videos that they make, a lot of the books that they make, and I have bought a couple books, so I'm not just, you know, making this up. The books uh, focus along the idea of trying to convince people that it's real. They don't tell you how to do it. They tell you why the uh, mechanism will work and that you should believe it, et cetera, et cetera. And all I can tell you is um, the most important aspect of breatharianism or pranic living is believing it. So I can see why they're focusing their intention on uh, trying to convince people. But uh, here's what I have to say. Um, all of these teachers have work or courses. This is their livelihood, right? They are teaching breatharianism around the world. They're doing uh, workshops. They're doing courses. This is how they're paying their bills. This is how they're paying for their travel, etc. And, um, you know, a lot of people say that you have to give something spiritually to get something spiritually. So they would say that they have to charge you in order for it to give you anything worthwhile. Well, I don't believe in that, um... <laughs> I don't believe in that uh, frame of mind because I believe in infinite, which means there's not a limited supply of energy. Energy um, can grow. So if I were to give my energy to you, does that mean that I'm losing my energy? Well, according to the Celestine prophecy, uh, no. As I give my energy to you and you give your energy to me, both of our energies increase together. And neither one of us lose anything. We both gain from it. So my point is this. I am not going to try to convince you that it is real. It is real. It's a lot of examples out there. But if you are interested in it, you are curious on how to do it, I just want you to tell me, and I will tell you how to do it for free. I don't want anything from you. Um, <clears throat> your improvements in life are all that I ask for. And I mean, um, you will grow. In lots of ways you'll break through blockages energetically you'll do uh, your work through your shadow work you know there are a lot of different ways to do shadow work but energy exercises and fasting they are the fastest and clearest and purest way to just jump through these hurdles quick kind of like a kundalini activation um, people don't really know what they're getting into when they have that done and i will tell you that breatharianism is very similar you put yourself in a situation where your kundalini does get activated some people don't believe that that's the same thing, but having done both, I will say that they are pretty much the same thing. Um, <clears throat> classic ways of getting your Kundalini to burst open, um, lack of sleep, uh, fasting, chanting, just uh, there are a few things that are withholding your seed. These are all... Uh, classic examples of ways to get your kundalini to um, start really pulsing up your body. Well, I will tell you that the initiation for breatharianism is very, very similar, with the mild exception that with breatharianism, you are also um, visualizing your cells being charged with energy, and you're cultivating energy in many different ways. 
So once again, this is a very short video just to explain that it is real. There are a lot of people out there that do it right now. So it's not a matter of I don't believe it's real or not. That's kind of like saying I don't know if cows are real. Well, if you've seen one, then they're real. So <laughs> there you go. Um, <clears throat> if you want to know how to do it for free, I'm not asking anything from anybody, let me know. Because the word on the street is that there might be a food shortage soon. And if that's the case, and you have little ones like me, I'd rather go without food and so they can have all the food in the house. Because I'm not saying kids can do this, but any adult, anyone who's probably over 18 or 21 can do it. So if you want to spend much less money on food uh, and conquer all of your wants, not your needs. You do have a few needs, like breathing. You probably need to breathe. But uh, you can conquer your wants. So if anyone's interested in learning how to do it for free, hit me up. Comment, like, email me. If I haven't put my email before, I'll do it right now. All right. Um, hope you guys have a great day. You know I will. And uh, take care.